percentage of the day and night do you think about this person? Okay, Camry Day. Um, this is the first time I've ever used a 60D in this angle. Well, I don't think it's the first time I've ever walked around and vlogged. Um, I'm sick. <clears throat> I was sick yesterday, but I was feeling all right, so I was still working and stuff. And last night, I got real sick, and I had the worst night's sleep of my life. Woke up, took my temperature, and it was 102. So, I'm not feeling too good right now, but I've taken a shower and slept in the three because I barely got any sleep last night. And, um, there's my stupid animals. <laughs> and I have Nurse Marley here. We're currently making a pizza. The pizza. Take and bake. My family's out of town for the whole weekend. So they got me a ton of food, which is nice because why wouldn't I want a ton of food when I'm home alone sick? So, that's just pretty much, I don't know how often I'll vlog today just because I'm not really feeling great. So, if this video gets uploaded like later in time, you know why. Because I'm not feeling great. I don't think I've ever been this sick on Canary Day history, which is over a year. So, yeah. And I've been drinking like a, a glass of water probably every, every 15 minutes. So, hopefully I'll pee for like 8 hours later on. Hopefully. Was that was that a real really attractive statement? You should say it again. Hopefully I'll pee for like eight hours later on. And that's the status of right now. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys like the 60D? I think it looks kind of cool. I don't really know how to focus really well because you have to focus and film at the same time. So it's like kind of confusing, but I don't know. Let me know. Plus, this is kind of an expensive camera just to like hold like how I am right now. Which I don't really like doing, but for you guys, for you guys, for you guys. Yeah, and check out this Widow's Commission t-shirt. You can get this at our online store, which is the degree merch slash commissioner. Went to the store today, tonight actually, and uh, I want to show you guys how to make some fried pizza. Now, when I, I'm not really much of a cook. When I cook, it's always usually fried, just because... Frying is easy to cook, it's easy to do, it's convenient, and I think it makes stuff taste better because I don't like runny stuff and you can burn stuff when you're frying. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do when I cook. And earlier, we made pizza, take and bake, and put it in the refrigerator after we're done eating for the first time around. And I'm gonna show you how to fry it up for some goodness action. So we have our ingredients, big old knife with some Pizza stuff on it from earlier when I first got the pizza. Cool glass of Gatorade, because I'm under the weather right now. And there's nothing like a good fashion helping of electrolytes to get you back on your feet. And to give you a red tongue. Anyways, we have our pan preheating at 5 degrees. Um, <laughs> what we're going to do here is just going to chop up this pizza to little itty bits. Little bite sized pizzas pieces of pizza, right? Perfect for eating with a fork and a knife. You know, real lady-like. <laughs> Alright, so you can have to stop them. Okay. So, just about done slicing and dicing these fine examples of bite-sized pizza eatery. What I'm gonna do <laughs> Okay, caution, this part might get your hands a little dirty, if you know what I'm saying. So you might need to use some gloves if you're kind of squeamish, but me, no big deal for me. So what I'm going to do, we got our pan cooking, and I'm just going to start grabbing them. Ugh, dirty hands. Tossing them in. You might hear a little sizzle. Don't be afraid, it's just the cooking. Now again, this is a perfect fit meal. If you're a bachelor, <laughs> no one wants to cook for you ever, and you don't even really like food to begin with, but you like pizza, so we're just gonna just toss everything in there. Pan's a little small, but no big deal. 
I'm gonna give my hands a little wash because again, like I said, I'm on the weather and our camera girl just stepped Sorry. in the water. <laughs> That's meant for cats. And what we're basically gonna do is just reheat our pizzas using a frying pan. Now what I like to do is I like to grab a little salt, a little pepper, and I put stuff on everything. Even my cereal, just kidding, that was a lie. A little pepper, a little salt, nothing to it. What else should I put on this? Hmm, maybe some olive oil? Maybe some oil? <laughs> Candle wax? Avocado? Salsa? Oregano? Green cheese? Green cheese. Cut. <laughs> Just do my job. Being a man. Having a beer. Drinking a... Drinking a nice beer. Just kidding. Just getting a few ice cubes in it. So anyways, I didn't... Put a pan on the pan. Because I'm an idiot. So most of the cheese is actually sticking. But what we're basically doing is just kind of reheating our situation. Let me try this. I'll say the pause takes about 80 minutes. <laughs> you know, I'm going to put some more cheese on this. Mozzarella cheese is nice. Nice cheese you can use on some pizza. We happen to have a big old bag mozzarella cheese. So to finish this nice big chocolate parade from the makers of the Big Chocolate Breakfast Scrambler. Put some nice cheese on that. Now keep in mind this clamp's going to be a very big problem. But I'm going to leave this pan in my sink for about three days until my mom comes up and cleans it. Call me a jerk? I call it wits. Alright. That looks gross. What are you talking about? It looks, it looks, it looks pretty gross. <laughs> not, not just straight up gross. It's pretty gross. Yeah, it's like it smells disgusting. gross too. It doesn't smell gross at all. It smells like burnt. Which, yeah. if you guys know me, from the Big Chocolate Breakfast Scrambler with Cookie with Nate show, but Big Chocolate stepping in for Cookie with Nate. And I think we're about done. This looks like a disaster. <sighs> you know I'm a record producer. <laughs> you look like you could sing. <laughs> and I think we're about done. What would you say? Get a nice bowl out. Actually, we should probably do a taste testing. I'm gonna grab this spork from before, wash it up because there's cold pizza sauce on it, and I hate pizza sauce. Take a little bite. We're ready to eat. I'm gonna scoop it up, put it in, scoop it up, just two easy steps. Scoop it up, <laughs> put it in, scrape it off, <laughs> scoop it up. Put it in, scoop it up one last time, put it in. Turn that off, move it to a non flaming hot. Good look at that end product. God. Turn a little vent on. Mom's gonna hate it. Turn a little vent on. Bite sized pieces. Mmm. Not bad at all. This is awesome. And healthy for you. Alright, cut.